Hello customers and welcome to today's video. My name's Jesse, I'm a Perth marriage celebrant and MC. Today I'm down here at Car Place along Leach Highway in Melbourne running you through some car walkthrough videos behind me. A 2012 Ford Falcon, let's get stuck into it. We start the tour off from the front, you guys get a good look in. Whilst I list off the car's key features, here we go. Eight airbags, ABS braking system, uh, central locking, CD player, power windows, Bluetooth connectivity, fingers crossed, I'm gonna be able to cover the remaining features. I'm sure we'll be, we will be able to uh, in this video. We hope you enjoy it. Let's get stuck into it. We start off with presentation. Now the detailing and the cleaning team here do a wonderful job with the car presentation, okay? Upon purchase of this, they're gonna have it looking like a 2021 vehicle. It's gonna be so shiny. Now, just in saying this, it did rain last night. So if you don't do notice any specs about the place, don't worry, just a little bit of rain, just a little bit of dust, all good. Okay, next up, I mean, from the front, the car really speaks for itself, okay? You got a beautiful color contrast with this dark purple or, or whatever the hell color it is. And uh, you're, with your Ford badge, the darkness of your grille along the front here. When it comes to features, Specifically, really, it's mainly just your headlights, okay? Two things, number one, they're automatic. Somehow they have a sensor and they just know when to turn on so you don't have to make the decision. And they, a stylistic choice, they do have blacked out surrounds, okay? But from the front, you guys get the picture. It's time now to take you down the left-hand side. Let's zoom in on these 18-inch alloy wheels, okay? Tiny little scuff, it's just copped around the, the sides here, guys, but look, for the most part, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, alloys w weigh much less than steel rims. I'm sure you knew that. Uh, the car's carrying around a lot less weight as it would if it did have steel rims. Okay, next up, your power side mirrors, okay? All electronically adjustable. We'll show you the keypad how to do that a little bit later. Tint job upon our windows, okay, really nice. Nice and dark here along the back. We call this privacy glass. Um, just allows you a little bit of extra security to any valuables you may happen to have in the back seat. And the tint job is also protecting uh, the amount of sunlight that's entering the vehicle, you know, and lessening the amount that your car is turning into an oven, if you know what I mean, if it's parked in the sun all day, okay. A little bit of a side, um, skirt that has been installed, a little bit of a body kit, your XR6 chrome badge. Let's zoom in on the back left hand tire. ABS, guys if you don't know much about ABS, I encourage you to, to Google it. It's um, a wicked safety feature. When you slam on the brakes, your wheels will not skid, okay? They're going to maintain traction and stability on the road. All right, you've got a push open fuel cap, unleaded fuel this bad boy takes, okay? So you can save a bit of cash in fuel. Mud guard as well, that'll protect the rear of your vehicle, you know that. All right, here we are at the back. Yeah, I'll wrap around, brake light's gonna take us there. From the top to the bottom, let's do it. We've got the demisting strips installed in your back windscreen. Okay, your spoiler feature along the back here, chrome finish. Warranty we'll talk about a little bit later. You have some reverse parking sensors, four, read them and weep along the back here. Uh, cool, that's going to do us chrome finish along your uh, exhaust here. Okay. Lifting up your boot. I'll step out of the way. Guys, heaps of space in there. Luggage, groceries, all your knickknacks, even plenty of room in here to, to fit all your holiday requirements if you're going up north to Lanceland or down south to Esperance perhaps. All right, I lift up the floor and you've got a full size spare tire in there. You can even take that out and uh, use this as even more storage. Okay. That'll do us for the boot. Let's continue around the right hand side. We'll start off by zooming into your uh, back right hand wheel. A little bit more about alloys. They hold up really well in wet weather. They're not gonna rust, they're not gonna stain. Let's jump into the car, the starting from the back and the finish inside is really nice, guys. It reminds me of my jacket I just bought. Really nice jacket, really nice interior, okay? Let's jump inside. The cat, uh, sorry, the seats themselves are made from the couch material, okay? I call them couch material because it just feels like you're sitting on a couch, you just got home from work. Super comfortable, laying on the couch watching the footy. Armrest, drink holders, a little bit of storage on the back of the driver and passenger seats, those back pockets there. Okay, let's take you through the front. Now this uh, interior is partial leather and that partial cloth, really nice finish here. Power windows, window locks, and then your side mirror adjustment here. 
taking you up inside. We're going to start with our steering wheel. Leather, really nice to the touch. We got your cruise control settings to the right hand side here and to the left hand side there looks like your volume control, maybe your station control as well. Okie doke, coming through the sensor here from the very top we have a carpet dashboard mat that's going to disguise all the dust that collects along the top here really well. You should see my car covered in dust, I wish I had one of these. Multimedia display hook your phone up into the system and access all the compatible apps. It is 2012, so I'm, I'm not sure how limited you'll be with, with the apps that you can use, but surely your phone, um, sh of course, music streaming services, podcasts, audiobooks, you name it. Okay, dropping down, that is your, it's your aircon controls, CD player, menu controls, all the usual knickknacks, okay? Bit of storage here. A 12 volt power supply here for an accessory you might want to equip. Partial leather gear stick, leather handbrake, two drink holders, leather finish atop of your um, armrest that doubles as a center console. Okay, USB input, AUX input, and a holster here for your phone. Now that's so handy because it's going to... Uh, it. If, that's, if your phone's tucked away in there, you're less likely to touch it, right? And you're less likely for a police officer to pull you up and catch you on your phone and get a $1,000 fine, okay? Now, moving on. Your glove box. Here's your Midway Ford wallet. And inside your wallet is the uh, service history and a handful of receipts from the previous owner, okay? Now, let's go through a little bit of this, not in fine detail, in great detail, but okay. 16,000 was the first service done in 2013. Another service in 2013 at 31,000. Another service in 2016 at 62,000. So you pro I know you're probably wanting to hopefully have had more services on there. I totally get that. But let me put your mind at ease. The cars, before they come down here for filming, go through a 100-point safety inspection checklist. The mechanics down the road literally tick off on a piece of paper and inspect 100 elements of the car that they make sure are to a safety, legal, and moral standard, okay? So, two thumbs up. Let's continue the tour. This, this is really for like the salespeople, just some quick info on the car. Uh, and I did notice earlier that the license and registration lasts to the 17th of June this year. So you got a couple of months included of rego if you're gonna buy this car within the next few days, all right? All right, sun visor, mirror. Done, rear view mirror, lights up here, all the usual stuff, my friends, okay? So it's time for me to jump out of here. I'll tell you about the airbags though, you know where they are, along the front here, along the door, back of the headrest. Okay, so don't forget about your super comfy seats guys, cloth material, couch material. Alright, lastly, as I pop your hood, check out your electronic seat adjustments, how do we do this? Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, that's what it is. I'm trying to do this way and that way, but it's actually up and down. Okay. That's pretty fancy back in 2012. So you're changing the angle this way. I'm not too sure if you can actually tell if it's moving, but I tell you, it absolutely is. Okay. Let's close this off. Do I need to point out any imperfections? I don't think so, guys. Check out your last tire while I try and... There we go. Got your boots straight away, your hood straight away. Wow, okay, this is presenting really nicely. Plenty of times we pop these hoods and the engine bay is just covered with dust, which is only natural, but this doesn't have a speck of dust upon it. Okay, looks really nice. Now, what can, more can I tell you? We got 166,000 Ks on the clock. As I said before, it takes unleaded fuel. You're looking at a four liter engine right there, and this car is also a rear wheel drive. Hey, also, the pistons to the left and right hand side do the lifting of the hood for me and they hold it there. I don't need to fart about with a stick. Done, my friends. We're done. Thanks so much for watching. We hope, you, we hope you enjoyed. Three things to tell you as we wrap up. Number one, warranty. Guys, get the warranty. You won't regret it. It'll save you heaps of headaches. Just take advantage of it. Secondly, same day finance approval. Eddie, our finance guy, 
is a master at what he does. He'll hook you up, he'll look after you, and he'll get all your finance sorted out super quickly. Lastly, if you think this car might be for you, book in a test drive, guys. Take it down Leach Highway and back and see how you feel. Thanks so much for watching. We hope to hear from you soon. Have a great day.